Hi, my name is Murilo, this is Juliano. We built this scanner head. It uses a ultrasonic sensor to scan the area ahead of me and tell me where the obstacles are using a stereo sound. So you're, so you're synthesizing, so you're listening to the ultrasound and then you're synthesizing the direction by using two pulses of, of with a variable delay between them. Yeah, variable delay and variable amplitude to simulate a sound coming from a, from different angles depending on where the sensor is pointing to. And then and then the amplitude of the of the click is determined by how near the how near the object yeah. is. How, how near the object is. Uh, but to uh, make the sound sound like it's coming from a uh, specific direction, you also have to modulate the amplitude uh, oh. between the two ears. Oh, because yeah. because of sh shading of the head itself. Yeah. And so you did that also. Yes, yes. I did that oh, as well. and because otherwise you get weird you get weird conflicting sensations, right? Yeah, isn't if you don't modulate the amplitude, if you only use the time delay, is it's not as clear. And this and that's, it's that so it's noticeably clear. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's pretty clear. Okay, and so you have two CPUs one of which is doing the yes. scanning. This one is controlling the servo and taking the measurements from the sensor. Uh -huh. And this one is synthesizing the sound. And that takes a lot of bandwidth to synthesize the sound because you have to, you need you need very small delays to get good resolution. Yes, yes. I okay. need like microsecond delays. Microsecond delays to, between the two ears. Yes. So that you, particularly when that sound is straight in front of you, it has to be almost synchronized and yes. off to the side it has to be on the order of 100 microseconds, right? Actually, when it's <coughs> close to 75 or 90 degrees beside of me, it's close to 600 microseconds. Okay, but to yeah. get good resolution, though, you right, you need microsecond accuracy. Yes. Yeah. So, so what's it like to close your eyes and walk with this thing? Well, when I close my eyes, I can hear, like, I, I can hear a beeping sound of the wall here. I know that there's some stuff in front of me that's probably you guys. <laughs> right, I just moved over here. Yeah. Which yeah. is what you're catching. Now, can you take it? Yeah. I got a high beep around here. All right, so I just moved over here. Okay. Yeah. And so... Yeah, I can clearly hear the walls, and I know there's that there's not a lot of stuff now, in you, between. If you the turn, if is you not turn around, loud. can you walk to the door behind you? Behind me? I'll try, I can try. Okay, so that's probable. So you passed the door. Did I? Yeah, alright. Oh, yeah. Turn towards the wall there. You can sense the wall probably. Yeah, Can but it's hard to catch this. Catch the edge. Yeah, it's really hard to catch the edge. Can you feel the... Oh, yeah, I definitely got a hole here. Because there's okay. not, not, not any sound coming from here. Okay. Yeah. All right. This, this probably takes some practice to, yeah. to get good at. All right. You're also... Yeah, all right. On the wall. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I'm getting something here. Yeah. It's kind of faint, so it's probably not. Oh, here it is. So it's about a meter from you. Yeah. Okay. Now turn around, and I'm gonna be quiet and see if you can figure out where I am. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing you're here. Uh, you're pretty pretty close. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. You're pointing just to my left. Oh, okay. But that's pretty good. All right. That's yeah, there, there's also uh, uh, sometimes a problem that moving the <coughs> the servo, the plastic that holds it, gets a little skewed to the left or the right. So uh, yeah. we don't we don't really know why, but. Uh, sometimes you have to calibrate like the central position. Yeah, well, I believe that, but yeah, that's but that's pretty. But but you were pretty close to where I was, so that's that's okay. good. Can I try it? Yeah, sure.